Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to be learning how to do some crusty, scabby, peely looking nails that like you would say on like a zombie or maybe sort of like a cannibal or anything of that nature. So be prepared to get some gross and nasty looking nails at the end of this video. Let's jump right in it. Alright guys, so for this we are going to need some vampire blood or just fake blood. Um, we're going to need some brace wax, which you can buy at Walmart for like three bucks. Pretty nice and it also comes with this handy dandy little tool which we will also be using. Um, I will also be using a palette knife, some scab blood. So yeah, let's get into this. So first, let me move all this stuff out of the way. So first we're going to open this up. Um, pretty simple. As I say, struggling with the packaging. Ha ha ha. So pretty simple and basic. So you're just going to take a little strip of this and then you're actually going to break it. And you're just going to squish it, roll it around in your hands so it becomes nice and moldable. Um, and the reason why I like to use brace wax for this is because it already looks like your nail and so like I don't know if y'all have ever had a broken nail I'm sure you have but your bro like broken nails turn white and so like this is perfect for it so and then the next thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna mold it to your finger whichever finger you're doing I'm probably gonna end up doing all 10 because this is supposed to be like a zombie or a scavenger kind of look and then I'm going to take this little bad boy right here. And so, zombies don't really have perfect nails. Much to everyone's dismay. Um, you can make this as gory as possible. That's also another great thing to do. Um, I'm just kind of chipping away. And making sure some of these edges are nice and sharp. So like to me this is not super sharp so I'm going to and then I'm also going to poke a hole right here, dig some of it out um, just so it's not perfect and then I'm going to take the edges just like this and we are just molding it to our fingernail pretty basic, pretty simple. Um, this is just really good. I like this better than like, um, what is it called? Crap. Um, oh well. Um, but yeah. And then once you get to where you want, I actually prefer doing this. You're going to take like any red color. So I'm going to take Kat Von D's, um, Shane Light Eye Palette in Rust, and I am just going to open this, and I'm going to take like a small little detailed brush, kind of like this one, and I'm just going to go into that orange shade, and I'm going to put it everywhere that the wax is not, creating like this rotted, fleshy grossness. Um, Another thing that works like really really well is red lipstick. This is just an Ulta lip matte um, cream. I've had this thing forever. Um, and then you can also fill in the cracks with that making it nice and bloody. You can make this as bloody as you want or not. Really up to your preference. Me being who I am and y'all will learn this sooner or later. I like a lot of blood. Um, so yeah, and then you just got the little bit of basics. I'm going to put this back in here. So then you have this. Doesn't look like a lot, but I promise you it is. Um, I'm actually going to take a clean brush and I'm just going to swipe the lipstick all over it so it looks rather irritated and then cleaning up the edges just so it gets it to the cracks a little bit more. And if I sound congested, guys, I'm so sorry. Um... I caught the crud. I don't actually know what I have. I'm pretty sure I'm not contagious. But, and then, 
we are going to go into the NYX Ultimate Palette, and I'm going to take this red shade right here, just on my finger like so, and I am going to dab that wherever I want as well. And then here comes the fun part. You're going to take your scab lid, this lovely gelatin substance right here. It's great. Um, you're just going to take your little palette knife or whatever you want to call it. And you're just going to dab it where you want. Uh, so again, I like a lot of blood. We don't use a lot of blood. And then we are going to take vampire blood. Vampire blood, whatever. Um, and then we're just going to place this on the lid of itself and just kind of dab, dab that everywhere. Just like so. And ta-da, there is your nails. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them so that way you guys can just watch and you can get the whole of the process. I'm actually going to dab that up a little bit so that way it's not super bleh looking. But yeah, that's the process. So. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did. I love working with scab blood, and I hope you learned something from this. So anyways, that's it for today guys. Have a good night, have a good day, wherever you are, be safe. Love you guys. 